Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. That's right. Today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about health because um, health is a very, very important thing when it, when it comes to motivation. Now, I know it doesn't seem like, you know, one has to do with the other, but the reality is, is that they're actually very, very uh, closely related to each other, especially once you uh, study this stuff. We're not going to get into all the schematics of everything out here because you already know how we do out here but we're definitely gonna be um, you know talking about this because the thing is a lot of times when you wake up in the morning and you're just not in the mood to do something uh, hold on let me fix this camera real quick here so yeah like I was saying you know a lot of times you know, you just, you want to go out there and do stuff. You want to go out there and, uh, you know, uh, kick ass like you always do. You want to go out there and, uh, um, you know, you might have gone to bed the night before, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to fucking uh, kick ass and take names. Oh, man, I'm sorry. sorry. Again, I apologize if it's a little windy. It seems like it's pretty windy out today. Um, but the reality is, is that a lot of times like it or not it's a little bit out of our control you know we wake up in the morning and you know we're just slugging along a little sluggish you know we're not feeling it no matter how much you know we want to go do whatever it is we got to do a lot of times you know again we we are we're, we just um our body's not into it you know what i mean like we're depressed it might not be depression might not be depression at all but just that state of mind that that mood you know when you when your mood is uh, dictating your behavior a lot of times a lot of times it's basically your gut that's dictating your behavior I mean and I know it sounds again like it's it, it, you know one one doesn't uh, correlate with the other but you know the reality is is that there's a huge correlation between the two and what happens is, is that like a lot of times you know you're out there and you're feeling like crap um, no matter no matter how much you want to do XYZ and um, you know you quickly realize that um, you know what I mean you're, again you know you're you're, um, you're just not in the mood to do what you got to do and it kind of sucks because the thing is that you know the, the, you, you wish you could do something about it and uh, you know what that's what we're gonna be talking about today the fact that uh, you can do something about it First of all, it's all about knowledge. You know, the first thing is knowing. So right now, you know, you're now informed of this. If uh, if number one, you've never, you didn't know anything about this. Now you know that your gut literally um, dictates your behavior. All of it, all of it. I know it sounds crazy, you know, but that's basically it. And I've said that like, like 15 times already, but, it, but it's true, you know, because when I first found out about the, the whole gut health situation and um, how your gut basically dictates you know not just your mood but so many other oh yeah yes this way so and so sorry and so many other things um you know when i first found that out i was like oh wow i had no idea i was pretty much kind of like flabbergasted you know to to say the least so the reality is is that man am i going the right way i feel like i'm going i got a little lost i'm getting distracted here oh, okay okay i'm going the right way okay all right, <laughs> sorry, um, but yeah. So your your gut literally um, dictates a lot of things. Uh, but you know, so for example, even um, you know, going back to like the whole diet thing, you know, eating eating a lot of gluten and all that stuff. You know, when you do that, um, again, it messes with your gut. It makes you um, you know, more sluggish. It makes you lazier. It's it's so many things that have to do with um you know when uh, when you're not uh when, when you're ingesting gluten how it affects you and when you don't ingest gluten how it affects you because you know a lot of people are like whoa how is it that you know eating healthier cleaner you know makes you feel better or makes you think clearer or anything like that and the, the reality is is because you know your gut dictates so much you know your your whole body itself you know dictates so much about your personality if you're always moody if you're always, you know, not in the mood to do X, Y, Z, if you're, you know, maybe what what it is is that either a your diet sucks and your gut is, um, you know, reacting in the same way, 
and um, you're, by your gut acting in, the, in a certain way, it's trying to tell you, hey, you know, this ain't right. Trying to see if we can, man, sorry about the wind um, and all that stuff. But, you know, the reality is, is that like, um, what was I saying about the gut? Oh, yeah, another thing. You know, um, so for example, look, the reason I'm making today's episode is because I myself, you know, wasn't feeling it. I've been doing a lot of things today, but I myself have not, you know, been feeling it. And the reason is, is because, you know, I've been having a little bit of a few gut issues. You know, the thing I, I the reason I talk about this is because I feel like a, most of us out there, a good majority of the human, human race out there, you know, suffers with this stuff, you know, one, in one form or another, you know, uh, depending on where you're from and your diet, depending on how you're affected by this, but I think everyone basically is affected by this because out here, you know, things like irritable bowel syndrome, you know, um, you know, the thing about, they talk about gut health, they talk about eating, you know, healthy um, probiotics and all of these things, you know, all these, uh, I think I think, I think, think a lot of this stuff is already pretty much uh, common knowledge to, to a good majority of people, but, you know, again, guys, you know, like the reason I'm bringing this up today on Monday, Monday motivation is because sometimes, you know, again, we're in today's world that we're bombarded with like so many things. Sometimes we forget things like this, you know what I mean? And then, you know, as soon as uh, you're reminded, because again, you know, again, this is why I'm bringing up this video, because they're bringing up this subject in this video because it's the same thing. I, I got reminded the other day and I'm like, oh shit, that's right. And then, you know, started going back to work on my gut um, and I feel better. But yeah, um, you know, basically, there's the bus. Um, yeah, because uh, you guys are—you guys have already part. You guys probably already saw the beach episode on Saturday, so I was just—I uh, saw the the bus that took us to the beach on Saturday. So, you know, the whole thing with uh, what I was saying about like um, sometimes what it is—it's like um, the gut health thing or your health. It isn't just necessarily your gut and probiotics and you know the whole bacterium situation that's in your gut that again they that dictates your mood you know because basically sometimes you're just in a really shitty mood and it's because your gut wants sugar you know so it, it gets cranky and then you get cranky and you don't even know why the fuck you're cranky and things like that but you know sometimes it's a vitamin deficiency you know sometimes like for example today i knew i was a little lethargic and i knew that you know for example like you know my gut health was uh kind of like was what, what, what was uh you know making my day a little harder than usual but then i also realized you know what i think i need some sun i think i need, I need to go walk and so that's when I, I i you know decided to do that you know i decided to go out and um get some sun get some vitamin d get some vitamins you know get my body moving body moving body moving you know insert song here but uh yeah you know and doing all that and so that's also part of the the health and the motivation again if you you know sometimes you wake up really sluggish you know sometimes again you're just not in the mood to do a lot of things so you gotta like force yourself so you force yourself to take a little walk you force yourself to do some jumping jacks you force yourself to just stretch you force yourself to just do a little something something and all of a sudden it gets you in a better mood and a good mood to do you know everything else you got to do through, throughout that day sometimes it's uh something just like that sometimes it's not really like uh you know this whole thing that you need to you know um go so deep into because you know i think a lot of i like i think a lot of people out there you know they'll sit there you know um watching a lot of the monday motivation videos or or watching you know like for example um a lot of people will be like damn i'm just not motivated to find my motivation and and i get that you know what i mean the thing is it's like you know sometimes it's a little bit out of your control it's it's basically you know your gut it's your gut health it's your your body itself that's not allowing you to do that so if you already know that bit of knowledge if you already know that then what's the next move the next move is that you got to you know fix your gut you know what i mean you have to somehow you know what I means change your diet and you got to start figuring out what agrees with you what doesn't agree with you and all these other things so it, it you know the the reality is is that remember you know sometimes like this whole monday motivation stuff um you, you might have all the you know right intentions and you know be going in the right direction in order to achieve your goal and um and you wonder to yourself you wonder to yourself man why is this harder than usual why is this taking so long you know etc cetera, etc cetera. you know why all of these things look at this beautiful art gallery up in here i don't know if you guys can see or not but so 
yeah, I mean, you know, I myself, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little bit out of it today. Um, and I know it's because of uh, my gut health is a little, it's a little whack, wackily do. Um, I'm, ch I'm trying to fix that, I'm trying to change it. Um, not just, um, you know, not just my gut health, but a few other little things, you know, that are um, making me not feel, you know, not feel 100%. But it's not an excuse for me not to go out there and um, try to make myself feel better. Because the thing is that, if, you know, we all feel like shit at one point or another. We all feel kind of crappy at one point or another. And whoever says that they don't um, or never have or very rarely do are lying to you. Because it's like every, and no matter who, how healthy you are, you know, things happen. You eat the wrong thing. You, um, you know, you, uh, you bend a little too far, you know, you, you push a little too hard, what have you, you know? And that's the thing, it's, it's all about taking care of you, taking care of your body, taking care of your body and all that stuff, you know? And uh, I, I, it's really not that difficult, you know? It's really not that difficult, you know? So, like, it's, it's all about the initiative, you know, whether you want to do this bad enough or not. And so again, you know, when it comes to the whole motivation thing, if you keep hitting that brick wall, that wall that you're constantly um, hitting of, uh, you know, meaning you're always watching motivational content. Um, you're always trying to like push ahead and get better and do better. And yet, you know, it's just, you can't, you're, it's always hard. It feels like you're dragging your feet. It feels like, you know, it's like mission impossible. All of these things, you know, the reality is, is again, it's, it's you know, you're obviously giving it your all. You're obviously, you know, um, going, you know, 1000%. So w w what's missing here? You know what I mean? What's, you know, what's the, what's the situation that's different? All right, look at this. Bunch of tourists. We gotta cross that street. <laughs> little Monday, Monday motivation. A um, little bit of Monday motivation intermission. Look at that. So hopefully nobody recognizes me, right? All right, let's uh, cross this street. All right, let's get back to what we we're doing. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah. So you know, like I said, guys. You know. Oh look. Well, hold on. Let me before I forget. Uh, so they're they're getting on the bus. I guess they're going back to, I don't know where they're going. Oh, Carnival Cruise Lines. Eh. So they got here on a cruise ship. Okay, got it. So yeah, you know, a um, little side note, you know, for those of you guys out there that, you know, watch my Mexico videos. Um, so yeah, yeah, cruise ships land on Progreso Beach, the same beach that you guys saw on Saturday's episode. Um, they, they go, um, they land there and then all the tourists get off and they hang out at the beach and I guess Carnival Cruise Lines bring some people out here to Merida since there's only like 30 minute drive, 30 minute bus drive and uh, they, that, that's what those people were. Those people were just here because they came through on a cruise ship. Pretty cool. I didn't know, I didn't know that the bus is, hey, hey! I didn't know that the bus is, you know, um, <laughs> I didn't know that the bus is, you know, um, came all the way to, to, to through here, you know what I mean? I thought that uh, they just ended up Progresso Beach and that's it, but hey! We all learn something new every day. Like you guys are learning about gut health. And uh, and again, guys, you know, the gut health, you know, it, it all really depends on a million things. This is why you got to start putting in that work. Because what is, you know, right for... Adelante. Gracias. <laughs> sí. So what work... Yeah, so it was like a big hole there. You know, I didn't want to... One of us was going to fall. We both went at the same time. You got to, you know, ladies first always, right? Cur common courtesy. So... A lot of traffic, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of traffic today. Oh, that's right, Christmas. It's uh, the holiday season, guys. You guys already know. So, you know, the whole thing about the gut health and that whole situation, um, what it basically boils down to is that, you know, every single human out there, all of us are completely different. All of us are completely different. And so since uh, we're all different, you know, what's gonna fix and help my gut isn't what's gonna help and fix your gut. 
there's so many variables that uh you know um come into come into play here um basically you know a lot of it is has to do with your ancestry and all this stuff and i'm not going to get into too many details but you know the point the point of these videos in this episode basically is just to at least you know open up the conversation open up your eyes so that you guys can look into it yourself you know hashtag look into it right and uh you know do the work yourself and figure out what you need for you for yourself and all that good stuff so you know, basically, you know, you, you know, what it boils down to is your gut health, you know? So that's why you see a lot of emphasis on probiotics. Again, make sure that you're taking the right probiotics. You know, there's natural probiotics you can take from food uh, that you don't need to, you know, um, supplement with, just depending on uh, your health and all this other stuff. And, um, you know, there's like a multitude of things that you can do in order to, here, let me, there's too many people walking here. You know, there's a multitude of things that you can do in order to make your gut health healthier. By the way, so, you know, just so you guys, I know there's a lot of traffic right now because of uh, Christmas season, but why I walk? It's because, again, it's quicker for me to walk and plus I get some exercise. You know, because look at this insane traffic, you know, uh, that's in the centro. Just like any other downtown area. El centro is always going to be, you know, just like downtown is always going to be jam-packed for the most part. But, all right. So, yeah. So, like I was saying, guys, you know, the, the gut health is, is extremely important. But it's not just gut health. Oh, man. Windy, windy. It's not just the gut health. But it's also um, your own health, your personal health. You know, um, we've talked about this many, many times before. Whether we're talking about, you know, go outside, get some exercise, get some sun, or take care of your mental health. Or what have you, you know? Sometimes you just gotta get a haircut to just feel better. <laughs> but, but the point is, is that, you know, you gotta take care of yourself. You basically gotta take care of yourself because no one's gonna take care of you. Big government isn't gonna take care of you. You gotta take care of you. You gotta, because no, the government is, is or any other entity out there is just gonna give you a one size fits all solution. But like I said, you know, the reason that's why everyone is uh, you know these solutions aren't working for everyone because they're not you know what I mean because everyone's different that's what makes us human and unique and awesome let's move it over here again so you know again guys basically you know what this is what this episode is a reminder of is to take care of yourself we're already ending the year we only got a few more Monday motivations left in this year and this is just a reminder that you know, you should start taking care of yourself a little more. And don't wait to don't wait to the beginning of the year. You can start doing that now. Because again, guys, even during the holidays, as you're you know stuffing your face, you know, being a fat little piggy, you know, whatever it is you're doing, you know, you can still, you know, eat healthy things in between that. You know, you can start, you know, do, doing the process of just switching over, changing diets, changing lifestyles, and slowly, you know, work your way there. So that way, by the time that you get to, uh, you know, January 1st, assuming that that's when you want to, you know, uh, you know, get the whole thing kickstarted, you'll, you'll, you'll have a huge head start. And um, that's the thing, guys. Remember, there's a lot of things that you need to take care of. Your gut health, your actual physical health your mental health okay but basically what you need to do is you got to take care of yourself that's it. that's what all this boils down to that's what this uh monday motivation is all about as well it's about taking care of yourself you know if you don't take care of yourself nobody will and uh and that's the thing you know what i mean like um you know like i was just saying uh, at the beginning you know you you know you guys turned on today's monday motivation in order to get your motivation because you know you might have woken up and you're you know dragging ass you're really, really tired. You're really lazy today. You're, you know, not looking forward to Monday. You know, you feel depressed. You feel all these things. And the reality is it's like, you know, maybe none of this stuff has anything to do with you. It was just probably what you ate this weekend. Literally, you drank too much this weekend. You ate too much junk food this weekend. You didn't take care of your body this weekend. And so now Monday rolls around and you feel like a ton of shit because, well, that's what you treated your body like, you know? And yeah, you know, your body is your temple, but it doesn't mean that you can't party there too, you know? You just gotta clean up afterwards. So it's like, you know, it's just basic maintenance. If you're gonna go out drinking, make sure to drink a lot of water. You know, if you're gonna eat a lot of fucking uh, unhealthy food, well, make sure you take care of your body, you know, throughout the rest of the week and so on and so forth. Because otherwise, it's just, you know, things are just going to, you know, um, start getting stacked up against you. 
you know, that's why, you know, you're going to be needing your Monday motivation situation. You know, that's why your Monday comes along and, um, you know, you're, you're dragging your feet. You need to watch these videos. You need to do a lot of things like that because, you know, you yourself, all of a sudden, you know, since you didn't take care of yourself, you know, that, that's why, you know, since you didn't take care of your body, you didn't take care of you, you didn't take care of your health. That's why you need, you need this motivation. That's why you need this Monday motivation. But basically, if you were taking care of yourself correctly, that might have been enough so that you wake up on your own at six in the morning on a Monday. You're already like very energized. You're already, you know, ready to kick ass and take names. You're the one that's probably motivating people and things like that. And how does that work? Well, it's because again, you know, you feel great. But how can, but how can you feel great? You got to take care of yourself again. You know, it's basically that, you know, it's, um, you know, you can feel great by taking synthetic drugs and eating a lot of junk food and then you're going to feel really shitty. Or, you know, you can you always feel great by taking care of your body. And then uh, when you do party, you know, take a little drug, you know, do a little alcohol, do whatever it is you're going to do. All of a sudden it's, it's enhanced and you get, you know, again, you get to feel even better because you're already feeling great all the time. You don't need to, you know, use these substances in, in order to mask, um, uh, you know, how you really feel which is pretty shitty and you feel really shitty because again of everything we talked about it's basically what you're putting in your body and that's it i mean so you know to me it's all about education you know you guys can still pretty much eat whatever you want um do whatever you want do all of these things but if you take care of yourself correctly if you're constantly yeah sorry because i'm in the center and i gotta look I'm, i gotta buy some things out here looking for a store um, but you know, basically, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can, you know, like, um, you can, uh, take care of yourself. And, um, if you do the proper homework in order to take care of yourself, then you can totally enjoy taking care of yourself. Because for example, you know, one of the things that I'm doing, look at this guy, love it. One of the things that I'm doing in order to take care of myself is now I'm starting to cook for myself again and cook for me and Christian. And sure, I love to eat sweets. I love to eat, you know, um, fattening stuff. I love to eat a lot of things that are not good for you. But what do I do? Um, instead of buying processed foods or, or buying, you know, a lot of ready-made uh, crap, you know what? I, I just make things from scratch. I can make, you know, apple cobbler. I can make, you know, really fatty, yummy, delicious food, you know, like, uh, um, whatever you know and uh and basically it's not a big deal because i know what goes in there i know I'm, I'm going through the process and it's just like a bunch of other things like that just like everything else and i hope it doesn't rain but anyways guys i hope today's episode kind of got to you guys because you know basically it's all about taking care of yourself and making sure you take care of yourself the right way all right not the the way that they're telling you but the way that your body's telling you not the way that they're telling you you gotta listen to yourself you gotta listen to your body and go with that so all right guys i, I mean i think today was a pretty good episode you know i approve i think it was great you know it got me motivated you know getting out of the house walking around getting these errands done um my gut's still uh, starting to feel a little better and so on and so forth so you already know the deal guys Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. How the gut and the brain communicate has fascinated us for centuries. The gut-brain axis transforms information via the vagus nerve from food to feelings. Once eaten, digested food particles enter the small intestine, which is covered with a velvety layer of villi. Each villus is lined with a single layer of epithelium. This layer is made up of different cell types. One of them, the enteroendocrine cell, is unlike the others. It is our gut sensor. In addition to communicating through hormones, we discovered that enteroendocrine cells also synapse with nerves, including the vagus nerve. We call those enteroendocrine cells synapsing with nerves neuropod cells. They sense and react to their environment. They sense mechanical, thermal and chemical stimuli such as nutrients or bacterial byproducts in the gut.
lumen. Inside neuropod cells, signals from stimuli are converted into tiny electrical pulses. These pulses propagate via synapses onto the afferent neuron of the vagus nerve. Vagal neurons carry the sensory information to the brainstem, linking the signals generated inside the small intestine to the brain. The neuropod cell connection with the vagus nerve serves as a conduit for food in the gut to influence brain function within seconds. This connection is also a potential portal for gut pathogens to access the brain. This new knowledge is a foundation for designing therapies to treat disorders related to altered gut-brain signaling. Hey guys, me and Lambler are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link in the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.